Let's talk about more Fallons. Uh, one of Chris Waller's uh, horses, Jamie Carr, is uh, jumping on. Valiant King uh, got scratched, and I think Jamie was going to ride it, but um, now he's going to ride more Fallons. Going to jump out of Barrier 24, which is uh, obviously a bit of a task. Um, Hawk, tell us a little bit about more Fallons. Well, amazingly, he was running in, in three-year-old hurdles at Sedgefield this time last year, so uh, I doubt they would have been thinking he would be a Melbourne Cup horse. Uh, 12 months on, but uh, look, he's done well on the flat uh, over in Europe. Uh, he was well beaten behind both uh, uh, Vauban and uh, Absurd in that Royal Ascot uh, Copper Horse Handicap. Then went to the John Smith's uh, Silver Cup and was very good, uh, second to Hamish, who's, a, who's an out-and-out wet tracker. Um, probably one of the better stayers at a mile and a half to, to a mile and six over there. Um, Ebor run was just fair, um, about four lengths off Absurd. Um, I think Absurd, definitely a better performance there, but obviously meets uh, uh, mm. Absurd better at the weights. Uh, but it was that Geelong Cup run that was so so good to see. Um, the way he flashed home, I, I don't think anyone missed him. Probably probably the typical flashing light run that you normally see in a Caulfield Cup, that, that was him. Um, yeah, he, look, he's a chance, um, but I think everything now is for 12 months' time. I think they're looking to, to what he can do in a 2024 Cup as opposed to this year. I was lucky enough to be at York the Ebor Carnival and I spoke to some connections and they were always bringing <laughs> they were always bringing this horse formerly known as script rider down um, they thought he'd run okay in the Ebor and this was always a target and obviously um, the, cha- that the name changed Trade a dollar 66 in that Geelong Cup on Betfair in play wow. loomed up I took a piece of 11s I was very bullish at the 200 and mm. Traded short, and did he just peak on his run? Is that a query, or is he just going to springboard off that performance? Look, it's a, it's a question, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I think he definitely peaked on the run late mm. um, because he was. He was going to race right past them. Um, do you think he steps forward from it? Probably, but also from 24, you just now the worry where's he going to get to from... It is a killer, isn't yeah. it? Oh, I think he's a, a nice... Top 10 play. I think he'll run well. I think he'll improve a lot. And any life from that barrier, I think he can run well. You, like you've, you've touched on the form tie-ins with the horses that are towards the top of the market. Um, we, haven't, we haven't really touched on this. So, and you mentioned it. The favourite, Vorban, um, the other international, beat this horse by 12 and a half lengths. Um, well, Absurd was only about five lengths ahead because yeah. because Vauban had won by by mm, the length of the strap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So but, so it wasn't it wasn't as bad as it as it looks when you say you're twelve and a half lengths. Yeah, but there's a tie in there through future histories run obviously well in the Geelong Cup and mm. there's a half a length between four or five of them across the line. You just pen everything else from the Geelong Cup, don't you? Uh, and just think that the other two internationals are better. I think so. Yes, I, I think, think so. I think the Geelong Cup. Yeah, that's, that's your that's angle. It. Yeah. Yes. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.